So, uh, hi everybody. Uh, today I will start directly in the in the the Lambs website. So this is the second video where we have a, a hands-on introduction to to Lambs. So this is the website as you can see here. You have a manual which is very um, very thorough. It's very complete. You can take you should everything that you use anytime you want to use a new comment should read carefully the limits of this. Um, of this implementation in LAMPS. You have a tutorials that are quite good and uh, you should follow uh, if you are interested in learning a little bit more about that. And um, and now we'll start with the download of the, of the LAMP. So you have here, you just download the tarball, just choose the stable version, okay? And you just download now. And when you download, you get this, uh, uh, zip file that you just uncompress in your whatever you want in your in your laptop if you have a linux system this is quite uh, straightforward to 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 use if you are using a uh, windows um system you should go you should, if you have a windows 10 choose this wps feature the which is the Linux uh, machine in a, in a, in Windows, so you should uh, um, use that uh, that implementation, okay? And and then you just um, you just build the same way with um, with your virtual Linux machine in 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 Windows. Uh, if you have older Windows machine, or you could use a virtual machine and should not use this pre-built uh, executives because you want to in this tutorial we want to to add a custom uh, implementation in lamps so uh, it's important that you have access to the source code and you can compile and uh, everything okay so now i will show you where i mean uh, my uh, lamps installation uh, the source so it's here yeah okay i think you can see so not this one this one so, so this is the so this is the source file so you have a, a, a when you you decompile your unzip your file uh, you have um this folder this lamps folder and then you go to this s source folder src and here you can see all these fix and uh, and, um, and all the, the things that you can uh, install and you have a lot of user defined things so this is quite complete but we'll not use uh, most of anything of here so um, um how to compile is just you you just have to uh, make and and, uh, and just put uh, MPI or serial, depending on the on the uh, on the if you're on a parallel compil uh, compilation or a serial. Um, this is this using the 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 uh, eleven version of of C plus plus. So Lamps is in C plus plus, and it uses the, the the version eleven. So I think it's the last one. If you have an older installation, probably could have problem. But you can it can to the the last uh, libraries for that and uh, but I think you probably have no problem um, you can put the make serial and just it will just compile in uh, in my case I have uh, I've already compiled so and you, if you if you if you have uh, it will take a little bit longer so I recommend that you you do that before Monday before the 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 questions part or discussion part so you should, because it's take a little bit depending on a machine to 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 compile and then uh, one thing that you need to do is just check if you have all the packages installed the uh, things that you need so we'll do a uh, make ps so the package status and it'll give you the package that you can install in my case i, I install a little bit for different systems i use some kind of rigid molecules and so i install this uh, extra part 
So for instance, uh, in the in the um, in the in the notes, I told you to install the the colloid and the S sphere, right? I think the which is already in my case already have the S sphere part and uh, and uh, the colloid part. So you just have to put make yes colloid for instance and you just installing the package and then you just have to recompile so you install the package that you want I think for our case just this colloid and this uh, and the uh, as here will be enough and there's just a recompile and uh, that's it the installation is that is that if you're using windows if you have a the the, the linux system installed inside it's, it's the same thing okay so now that we have this um the installation done uh, we'll try to run uh, the script that I, I have in my notes just have to copy the the comments directed to a, a file the same name as i as i used it's okay and uh, and then i can show you how to compile so so now i'll show you my terminal with the, the file so it's here i think you are seeing it now yeah so in the folder and i only have this file the algebra box run so this is the simple script that i show in um, in the the notes and i explain most of the line i think everything so the units this is the reduced units i i talked to you in the last uh, session then you have the uh, atom style uh, I think everything is explained in the in the notes where I create a lattice of of atoms in a box and of size 0 to 30 unit box and just create it with periodic boundary condition like here and uh, and I define the time step then we'll show we'll see the the results with this the output of uh, xyz which is the the dump file and you can use um, any visualization software. Uh, in my notes, I recommended Ovito, but you can use whatever you prefer, VMD or others. And uh, you just can see, the, see the, the video of the system. So if you run, to run our, our we'll just have to go to a LAMPS file, source, LMPC here, minus in, and you put the name. And that's it, it's running. Okay, so in the end, you'll have this log lamps file. The log lamps file will give you give us everything that the message that come from, from lamps that you saw in the in the terminal, and also these the values of the everything that you saw mainly the step, the temperature, the the the, the potential energy, kinetic energy, and the total energy. This is NVAA. With Leonard Jones particles, I define Leonard Jones, the Leonard Jones potential here. So this is this is constant energy. So you should have the constant total energy, as you can see more or less here. And uh, so this is a good test if our, if our uh, the script is working properly. And then we can use uh, OV to 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 to, um, to check if everything is how the video come out so i will just and i will share my screen with ov it's very use, easy to use so uh, this is ovito and uh, just open with, uh, with things that uh, uh, okay, so this is NVA, and then just put the XYZ file. This is the initial part, and just gets everything, reads every, uh, loads, and you can change the particle types, the radius, and uh, everything else. And just can run the simulation, you see the particles, and just have some 
tests and see everything is okay. In this case, you cannot see much, but in a, you start with a very small, a smaller system. Here, I think the radius is by default is bigger than the ones that we use, but you can change and see everything's okay. You can, you can do some other tests and you, you can use this as a starting point for your for the homework. But uh, you can see, as you can see, it's quite easy to use. Okay, so that now you can you can test the other parts and do the measurements as as I, as I, as asked in the in the homework. But for a first test, I think this is I think it's enough, and you can you can do the rest by yourself. And then if you have any questions, just send me an email before the discussion, and I will answer. Okay, and. Uh, can finish here for today.